Are they heading... They are heading towards where I got the information that the they were supposed to be headed, right? Like to whatever prison or guard. Uh, if you're saying something, I can't hear you. Hmm. He wants to know if the direction we're heading is accurate to the information that he was given about where we should be brought procedurally. Um, you can kind of guess so. All right, well, that should be good enough. Keep a follow. Yep. So I'm going to uh, to nudge Belford. So, Ephraim, what do you think? Why are they taking her? Is this racial profiling, or is this the more understandable drow riding a giant spider probably suspicious? Quite frankly, there's a chance it could be neither. What's your guess? Well, it could be one of two things. Either the Imperium screening Regards is truly that lax, or they're taking her right into the middle of the game of death. Hmm. If that's the case, it certainly would have been nice to have the rest of us, have the rest of the group follow along. Indeed. How far away are you guys? Uh, oh, was... Not that far. Like, maybe like half a city, like a quarter of a city block, maybe? Didn't we take an hour long trip on a tram to get here? What, like yeah. the first place? Yeah, but yeah. like, you gotta, yeah, but there's like a barracks in the east. After that, I think, haven't we been following, like, Vaconi and them on foot? Yeah. 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 But you guys are, like, a block or so away, Tops. Like, varying, I, so. I guess. Yeah. Insight. Word. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Well, at any rate, they'll be able to hear the explosions anyway. Yes, quite. Follow the Inferno. You'll find a doctor there. You could put that on a shirt. Though I think someone might sue for malpractice. You could also put it I'll on a business card. I'll make a perception card. check while you're staring them down. I hear business cards are really nice this time of year. <laughs> yep. That's a roll. That's a tasty one. Oh, so close to a crit. <clears throat> Where were you when I was chewing the guards out, eh? <sighs> that was my moment, you randomly generated piece of crap. <laughs> it was awesome, though. It was an awesome moment. Vic is so proud. Beautiful. Problem Which I guess isn't a good so thing. Naturally but. unimposing. Yeah, I, I imagine that we're probably gonna get uh, some sort of harem going pretty soon here with uh, <laughs> with Corin being the leader. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so far, I, I think you would pretty much include all y'all, all these guys, all of them, except the spider. Well, he's gotten friendlier with the spider recently, apparently, once he decided that, you know, like Batman, his fear should be used on others. <laughs> <laughs> because Batman's secretly afraid of bats? You don't remember the whole fucking bats origin thing? story, dude? No, I don't, actually. Oh, what a I am are, you talking, city are you talking about the comic books or the utterly forgettable first of the Christopher Nolan trilogy? 
the the shitacular Christopher Nolan bomb drop with the well full of bats that was just retarded. I really liked Batman Begins. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it too. Don't worry. I'm That's sure it was a fine movie. It was just so forgettable. I couldn't tell you half of what happened in that movie. I, I think I got its business time. card somewhere. <laughs> and then I could probably tell you beat for beat what happened in The Dark Knight. Yeah, and that's I, purely on he- Keith Ledger. Yeah, I, I, I agree with yeah, you though. I think I think I have products. a business card with like this around here somewhere. I mean, hang on, let me take it out, look up to the light. I'm gonna flick it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wait, nice. I have another one of these already. Why do I have two? So they nailed the perception or what? Oh, yeah, I need to see that. Um, Doctor, you realize that the, that the um, guard captain and Vic are talking rather casually amongst each other. As a matter of fact, you also see the, uh, see the guard captain give her a bracer. Hello? And then she puts it on. What is that for, I wonder? What? What's what for? Do you see that bracer on her arm? Not quite. I can't (laughs) quite make it out. I don't remember Vaconia usually wearing a bracer. Why would a guard captain give her a bracer? (sighs) I am totally setting this up for you. It's Chekhov's gun. God what the it. fuck am I watching? You're, you're gonna you're gonna make me go there, aren't you? You're gonna make me dig into Chekhov's gun. I hate you so much. There goes the rest of my life. You, mm. Look at what you have done to me, Belford. You've turned me into TV tropes. <laughs> you have ruined me for life. <laughs> <laughs> you have ruined me. Well, we'll have to ask her about it when we get a spare opportunity. Well, you'll have to ask her about it. She doesn't listen to me. She doesn't comprehend you. Hence, she doesn't listen. I didn't say it was the origin, I just said it was the result. I don't know, man. I got plenty of uh, situational. He's yelling and offering something to the spider out of that last <laughs> conversation. So I don't give a fuck what you were saying. I was all sorts of excited. <laughs> so they're talking friendly with each other. Yep. And now they're rather being quiet right now. Huh. I rather feel like there was even more going on here than I originally thought. Do you get that feeling? I have an inkling. Every time she goes off and does something by herself, something usually seems to come of it. If I'm being totally honest, it's part of the reason I followed. The only reason I followed is because I was expecting one of you to start something and figured keep you both from dying. Oh, well, I appreciate the sentiment. I wasn't planning on starting a brawl, however. From you, no, I wasn't actually going to feed dear departed Ethel 2 6, right? Oh, I know that. Still, you can be rather frightening at times. Only when the situation calls for it, mostly. <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna get to a barracks. And they're gonna head inside. Some of the guards are gonna kind of uh, disperse a little bit. The spider is going to stop outside, turn around, and sit down at the doorway. 
like a gigantic, disgusting, eight-legged, or eight-legged, eight-eyed arachnid. He'll still just as drooly bloodhound. That's uh, horrendous. Yes, enjoy. Terror adorable. <laughs> combination of terrifying and adorable i i assumed as such terror adorable <laughs> it's a terror retriever <laughs> so what is the uh, what's the barracks look like the barracks is um rather large it's like a uh, large barracks and there's like a large building and then there's like a small stable it's not too far from there All right, I uh, guess I'll follow them inside. If no one's going to try to stop me. No one's going to try to stop you. I'm actually going to try to stop you. What? Are we not following them? I'm not quite sure what's happening anymore, and I don't want to risk tipping anyone's hand at this point. I think we might want to try another way. <laughs> what? Other way do you mean, like subterfuge? A little bit of sneak action? Like, I don't know if you noticed, Ephraim, but I'm not the most subtle of individuals on my best of days. You may be right. I mean, if you want to attempt to make a, uh, to try to sneak your way inside, I can wait for you. But I won't be able to, I'm afraid I won't be of much much assistance. Well, as it happens, I'm not a terribly sneaky person myself. All right, then we'll do it your way. Uh, lovely. Direct, blunt, friendly, Force big trial. smile. Oh, we went, we went different directions with that. I <laughs> went, or you went human. It's the problem with half-breeds. <laughs> and I'm just going to get all my infusions sorted now. Okay. And I am going to trot right in, right up through the barracks. <laughs> what's the inside of the, what's the inside look like? Um, the inside uh, looks very professional. <laughs> you can see that, uh, that there's like a, t- there's like a desk, um, a guard there who seems to be doing paperwork. Female or male? Male. Damn, is there a female guard behind a desk? No, there isn't. Shit. Is there just the one guard behind a desk? Currently. I am going to uh, walk up to the guard. Excuse me, I've been led to believe that you might be some assistance of some assistance to me. Yes, how can I help you? He's just putting the ink pen in the inkwell. Got you. Um, I have a friend who was taken in quite recently, and I was hoping to secure some terms of her release. He's right now in an interrogation. She'll be out in uh, another 45 minutes. Wow, psychic friend. Her psychic. Hmm. And she won't be being detained any further than that. No. Well, wonderful, and I can take you at your word that you will, in fact, be out in 45 minutes. At my word. Fantastic. We'll wait. An emotion towards, a, <laughs> towards uh, some seats Love nearby. It. Doctor? Corin? I've secured us waiting positions. And you were worried I was going to hit something. What, me? No. <laughs> I'm going to try to surreptitiously close my alchemy kit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to sit down on one of the chairs and pat the chair beside me. I'm going to sit down. All right. While you guys are sitting down, let's get back to Val. She obviously would have taken that off before leaving the room. 
Okay. Um. So, uh, you, so Varyl and, um, so you go and find, uh, Varyl and the merfolk are talking right now. Gonna, uh, kind of softly clear my throat to make myself known, but otherwise stay at the door quiet until called for. Um, Varyl's gonna notice you at some point and motion for you to come over. She'll approach. Um, she'll give a slight bow or curtsy. I mean, she is in, you know, yep. armor. Um, you already are aware. I know. Um, this is multitudes of guardsmen are corrupt and on the take. In fact, we were accosted by a squad of fifty, no less. That I believe all of them to be on the payroll, most likely involving these death games. Um, I didn't come here to tattletale on corrupt officials. Uh, what I came here for, um, we were at the orphanage, um, uh, full of bodies, mangled, broken, smashed children, adults, hanging from the rafters all over this place. Uh, we went in, we were ambushed, we slaughtered the ambushes, we got a drop location for tonight, we're going to go and slaughter more of them, um, and your, I don't know, employee, Magnus, yes, took off, I presume he came back here. Yeah, uh, tell me exactly what you said, I think a little more uh, towards you guys, something about torture. Well, of course, if you're not, uh, if you're too afraid to get your hands dirty, you'll never get the information you need to stop these monsters. Uh, he was already given up his life. He accosted us and was wait, laying wait in a house literally full to the brim of dead bodies. Uh, there's no way he was innocent. I simply, we did what we needed to do. I trust you in particular given your history, uh, understand this. I understand the need for torture. I am not going to say I've never used it before. However, in my old age, and after seeing life as it, as it truly should be, I am against it. However, I understand why you need to do it. Right. Well, of course, I, I wasn't particularly seeking uh, permission nor forgiveness. Uh, Anyone associated with the bodies of dead children deserves none uh, other than the greatest of hellfire. That's beside the point. Uh, simply giving you a fair heads up, your word means very little to certain people. I don't know how much power you have or how much power you assume you have. Um, but there are at least some circles where your word means nothing. Yes. I'm going to leave and go back and find my party and uh, slaughter some cultists. She's going to give him directions to the cultist drop point if Magnus wants to meet up with them later, but she's going to go leave and find Corin and Doctor and Vic. Okay, I'm going to send you. I mean, she'll excuse herself politely if, and if she'll wait if he has anything specific he wants to say. Oh, but he's going to say that, uh, he's going to wish you the best of luck. And then she'll, you know, thank you, polite excuse, bow, whatever, yada yada. Um, and go find Corin and them. Okay. Oh, wait, how is it? Well, it's only 1.2. That's not that bad. Oh, Nick Cage. Ah. Every time I minimize Skype to look at roll 20, you're looking right back at me. <laughs> Sweet! Adoring. I'm alright with that. Alright, so, uh, that, uh, Val, respond as message sent. Um, do I see them? Yes. 
like I'm in the building or yep, you're 100 percent in the building. I'm kind of blink, kind of look around. Wow, that's extremely useful. And then I'm gonna walk straight up to Corin <laughs> and Belford. Hello. Oh, hello! You made it from inside the building. Hmm. You should have seen me come in, and here I am. Uh, never mind. Um. Yes, yes. Uh, is Vic here? Uh, apparently, she's being questioned. We were told to wait about. They said about forty-five minutes, didn't they, Ephraim? Uh. Yes. Hmm. And it's been about hmm, how long has it been? About thirty-five minutes, and Vic's gonna start coming down the stairs. Uh, she's going to pull the mask out of her bag. She's going to hand one to the doctor. She's going to hand one to Corin. Um, go ahead and um, fit these to your face holes here. We're going to go find these cultists at their drop point tonight. She's going to proffer a map from her bag that shows lo the meeting location. Um, what exactly and... does this mask look like again? Um, he never described it. Looks Give me like a second. Let me Google this. Does it look like the one on my uh, on my chat window right now? Hang on, Steven's got it. I have no idea. I was just going to look for a fun-looking mask online. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to do the skin saw mask, but fuck it. Maybe you can find. I so found a wooden replica Predator mask. I think that's what that looks like. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, she'll offer you those and she'll show you the map kind of leading the way to the drop point or meeting point, whatever. Uh, we should go here. We should find out information and then we should probably do the same thing we did to the ones hanging out with the dead children. Uh, yes, poor Ethel. Mm. Shame yes. you couldn't have come along to accompany us. Vic is going to edge past this whole conversation, looking down to the ground, just walk past everyone, go out and try and mount up her spider. Val, she's doing the sullen teenager thing again. <laughs> Val will smile. Um, Damn it, Mom, I'm 158. I can do what I want. <laughs> and then you're going to hear a small little voice say, saying, uh, actually, no, you guys won't understand her. Never mind. She's just going to run behind, uh, you're going to see Vic's sister run behind uh, Vic. Glaring at all of you. Hello again. Foul Hi. Will, um... Oop, hello. Foul will head over to Vic as well. With a don't worry, I'll handle this since she's looking sullen. Uh, whenever she gets up to Vic... Uh, she'll offer her a map. She'll look from Vic to Vic's sister and then back at Vic. Vic is yeah. deliberately not making any eye contact whatsoever, mm -hmm. like face to feet, kind of. Well, she's holding the mask at your belt line then, so you have to accidentally see it. In that awesome. Case. So she's going to take a mask and put it on her face. And then she's going to show her the map. Uh, we get to go kill some more cultists tonight. She's going to do the same thing with the mask if she's still not looking up. <laughs> oh, as soon as, um, after she puts the mask on, she's going to be looking right at you. Oh. Make a reception check. Who? You. Me? Yep. Um, okay. All right. Twenty-seven. Yep. Give me one second. Okay, well, he's doing that. Um, don't look so down. We get to go kill more things. I Maybe you can raise these things. Oh, I'm certain I can. Um, I just negotiated some uh, some leniency. I think it would be best if we crack down harder on this game of death bullshit than anyone ever has had the balls to. 
She's going to glare at you for a couple of minutes, put her hand on her greatsword, and look pointedly past her for the broom, guard, whatever, if there's a person coming down the steps behind her. Nope, no one's coming past Well, I went out front. I was about to mount the spider when you caught up to me. Oh. Uh, then she'll look... Her hand's on her greatsword. She'll be looking back inside. Uh, who am I killing? Vic? Uh, I'm going to grab the side of... Um, Oh, yeah, what language are you guys speaking? Elven. Okay. Yeah, Elven. Elven works. Well, it's the one we've got. You don't have Undercommon yet. Well, I was debating sign language, but Elven's... I can't do sign easier. language moodily. Because I'm not... Yeah, I can't look away from you and have a conversation in sign language. So yeah. I probably hear what you're saying, then, depending yeah. on how far away you are. No one yet. Save it for the docks. It's nothing I'm not used to, all right? Relax. Put the sword down. She'll sigh, kind of roll her eyes, like, stop being such a tough ass hat, but leave the sword where it is. And, um. <coughs> is she still wearing the bracer? No. Yeah, she is. No, she isn't. Oh, no, she's not. However, like I said, I think it'd be best for us to make an example of the morons who are dumb enough to attack us. I'm oh, talking I... full-scale spectacle, like the game of death will be treated this way from now on kind of impression left behind. Oh no, I, I wholeheartedly agree. That's why I came back with the masks. What and kind of body masks. of water is the docks lead into? Is it an ocean, a river, a lake? An ocean. That's going to be a lot of blood to turn that red. <laughs> right. so, <laughs> I'm going to pipe up from where I am. Does this mean the making a target out of me plan is getting the kibosh put on it for the time being? Yes. We were going to what? We, we, we talked about this last night, how I'm the bird, I'm the heir to the Belfort estate, I could make myself right. a target, try to get on the list. It was a whole big thing. Yeah. Well, now that we know where our meeting point is, we can at least put that on the back burner for the time being. Oh, good. I didn't like the idea of being shot at deliberately. Oh, you don't no. sound at all relieved. <laughs> don't worry, Doctor. There won't be anyone to make a list after we're done tonight. One can hope. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut it here, no. but I gotta get up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good to basically go scout out the docks and then hide somewhere and wait for nighttime. Uh, so I'm just gonna assume that's what you guys are doing. Sorry, we have a nice starting point for next session. Are you guys all game for that? Sure, I like what? that idea. Yep. What was going on? I, I, su I suppose if there's nothing else going on, I'm gonna. Finally, get around to examining uh, Leon's wife. You have to take a hour train back and forth. Either way, your game for that. Uh, You'll be back in time. Well, how long is? What time? What's the time? I'm checking my. Um, watch. it's about like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. No, oh, there's plenty of time. It's at midnight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, lots yeah. of time. There you, you got, got a whole ten hours. Corrin wants to try to get an elven lesson from Valerie going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> elven lesson. Oh. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait. You know, that is quite a difficult time to control. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a, that's a good one. That's a, oh, by the way, strong. at some point, I'm going to relate to Corrin and Goblin just what Valerie said earlier. Wait, part of what I said earlier. Uh, yes. <laughs> the part that made my nose bleed. Oh, some of oh. that. Oh. Probably not going to sound quite as fun coming from the doctor, but I don't know. Or or being Maybe. translated into Goblin. Oh, right. It's being translated. Ooh, that would be weird. <laughs> what still does Shank Skug mean? Oh, oh, in her. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh, that's Corin's going to listen intently, nod, and say, "You know, I don't think it necessarily has the same flair." 
in Goblin. I'm gonna wipe the blood off my nose, if you say so. <laughs> Just repeat it and start bleed. bleeding again. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's fantastic. That's what I wanted out of Al. You know, Doctor, I go. feel like you... I'm not a trained medical professional or, any, professional or anything, but I feel like you may be a hemophiliac. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but I'm also regenerative now, so it kind of balances out. <laughs> well, if you say so. Beautiful. Well, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours then. Right so, right so. Um... Um, question, how long does it take to cart ride across the city to the docks? Um, from where you guys are staying. Hang well, on, gotta... yeah, from the mansion house. Yeah, let me bring you guys to the map, just to show you how big the Imperium is relative to the entire continent. Whoa, that's a big squiggle. Let me zoom <laughs> okay, out. Okay. Yeah, zoom out. Holy shit. <laughs> that is the squiggliest squiggle. And you're saying the Imperium is... Basically, the entire country is one giant city. Yep. It's a small. Wow. <laughs> of course, there's certain areas that are like farmland, but like, the majority of it is just all city. Can you ding us where the, um... You should go in with another color other than black and like, circle the quote-unquote I'm gonna have to sections. do that at some point. I'm sorry, but like... Let's see where you guys are. You guys are roughly... If we're near the waters, we're probably, what, up here? Somewhere? I know. You guys, basically, you guys are... Um... Wow, we're all the way down there, and it only takes one day to travel... Or ha one hour to travel all the way up north? Yeah, the tram, the tram system's, like, the greatest thing in the Imperium right now. So, That's how long would it take to take a tram for an hour back to the, um, back to that place, and then wagon back to the docks? So the wa wagoning to the docks would take you like a whole day. So like nine hours. Yeah. Guess what I have for time? We have about ten hours before midnight. You got just enough time to get there and have an I hour. I have just to enough go. time to go get my wagon. Oh, um, what speed are you setting the wagon at for that calculation, by the way? Um, the standard wagon speed. So, thir uh, so 40 for horses? Yep. So I'm not going to use the horses. 50. Uh, <laughs> <a spider. laughs> the 50 foot speed spider. So that shaves like what? Uh, that saves like one hours. hour. One, two hours, something like that. Well, it's 10 like more feet every now. six seconds, so. I don't know. Um, it, as long as it'll be fast. That'll give me time to scout the docks, get on the tram, drive back, get on the wagon, bring the desecrated wagon to the docks, and then I'm good to go for tonight. Alright. So do we want to do the medical stuff now, or leave that till next time? We're going to do the whole cultist thing next time. I mean the medical bit. The medical stuff, looking over the wife. Yeah, yeah go for it. Alright. Alright, when you uh, enter the wife's room, you'll see uh, she's no longer pregnant. Oh, I hope that ended well. Um, you see that you, she's holding a child. Oh, thank God. <laughs> holding a child. Yes. So she's actually awake now. Yes. Oh. Uh, yes. How are you doing, uh, Mrs. Flambard? Doing quite well, thank you. And you are? Uh, Dr. Ephraim Belford. I'm going to tip my hat. Yes, uh, my father mentioned you. Uh, on request of your husband, I'd like to take a moment to examine you, make sure there are no ill effects from the, uh, all that business in Keladron. She's gonna chuckle and then she's gonna say, you tell him that I'm alright. All the same, I feel as a professional I should do this at least just the once. Just a quick once over. Is that just still be glaring at you? I am doing fine, thank you. Is Leon in the room? No. Right. 
Well, um, all right then. I I wish you uh, and your and your child good health. <laughs> I tip my hat and I'm gonna back out of the room. Fine evening, she says with a smile. And to you too. Something's not suspicious about fuckers all that. Somehow that needs to be made into an actual sentence. I'm sorry. That's not suspicious as all fuck. There we go. And I suppose. Uh, how much time do I have now? You, have, you still have a quite a bit of time. A lot of time. Where's Magnus at? I know he wanted my help with some of the alchemic, uh, no, the ma magical creation thing. He'll be in the room assigned to him, working away on the uh, the belt for, still working away on the belt for, what's her face, Valerie. Yay! I will finish it right now, by the way. So, so we'll have it before the next encounter? Yes. Awesome. Well, I'm assuming we're going to be at the house working with Corin's uh, Elven lesson. Um, so whenever you finish it, you can just find her in the house and she'll pay you. No, yeah, I'll basically just finish it. I'm going to give him the... How many did he need? Two infusions of bark skin? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give those to him. Eventually get around to working on those. What do you have? Craft wondrous and craft magic items. Oh, you're a fantastic human being. <laughs> well, I'm just wanting. I'm just browsing online to see what I would want. Oh, well, if he doesn't actually need them yet, I'm gonna hold on to them then. Yeah, no, I don't need them yet. All right, come find me when you need them. And I suppose I'm gonna go eat lunch. <laughs> Corin's not allowed to have lunch until he can ask for lunch in Elven. <laughs> I already told you, it just doesn't make sense to me. Let me eat, goddammit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I hear them as I'm walking past? Actually, she's saying no in Elven. <laughs> and she'll smack his hand every time he reaches for food. <laughs> How goes the lessons? He's not allowed to eat lunch until he can ask for lunch in Elven. I've told him what to say, he just can't make his mouth form the words. It's these damn tusks. Tusks. They're small, but they get in the way and they pierce my lip for the more eloquent vowels. <laughs> I'm actually going to walk into the room. Care for a bit of help? Oh, please. <laughs> All right, now repeat after me. <laughs> um, when he, as soon as he says that, she's gonna start um, muttering more um, obscenely, make people like drop blood all over the place. Things in Elven. She's gonna go ahead and make him bleed now. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hold my scarf to my nose. <laughs> This used to be a green scarf. <laughs> yeah, she's now saying the like thing Christmas. again. I can't understand. I'm left out of the, left out of the happy club. This is incentive for you to learn Elven. You really want to hear this? I promise. Some things I feel were not meant to be. Poor Cora. Oh, that's not true. Let's just. <laughs> Let's work on your structure. Now. <laughs> By all means, Doctor, I'll do whatever you think I can. <laughs> hmm. Hang on a second. Do I have... Let's see. I can't use that one. Okay. Thought I had a formula. Never mind. Now, regarding syntax. 
Corrin's going to take a deep breath, sigh, and put his head in his hands. <laughs> Let's start off with something simple. Hello. <laughs> and I'm assuming that's an elven? Yes. He proceeds to say hello in all the languages that he knows, that being common, orc, and goblin. At the same fucking time. I <laughs> so, kind of mutter about so a Is anyone going to do orc? anything interesting before we start going on about this? This is an interesting to you? This is pretty hysterical for me. This it is hysterical, but I'm just saying, like, plot wise, are you guys going to do anything? Those, uh... Um. While she's back getting the wagon, uh, Vic is going to look around for her relative, who is going to be behind her at all times, hiding in the wagon. Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna ask if she plans on coming with us tonight. She's just gonna shake her head and then uh, gonna whisper something to you. Oh, cool. <laughs> Didn't see that shit coming. <sighs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm going for, Jeff? Yes. All right. <laughs> That's what she's going to say. Anyways. Repeat after me, Corin. Kere. Kere. Oh, how about you tell me what the hell it means first? It means good day. And then uh, he turns and walks away. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is it again? Kel. Kel. Ray. Ray. Kel Ray. <clears throat> Kere. Is that close? Almost. Kerry. Kel. 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 You're all going to hear a knock on the door. What is it? You're going to see Variel holding a book. Val will get up to retrieve the book to, and ask again, what is it? It's something that's going to make sure that he's not butchering my language. Thank you. Which of us were you speak? Were you referring to? Whatever sounds like a dying cat. Oh, I wonder which. I, hey, I, that is I, the I, best I, damn dying cat you've ever heard. You'd be not I can't deny which, that. Again, which one of us were <laughs> you referring to? I'm doing my best. That's why I'm I bringing you a book. Because you're scaring, cause you're scaring o Oprah, and you're definitely scaring the uh, other one they, that they brought with them. <sighs> I will hand him the book. Everything is written. S what? Yeah, much better. Everything in the book makes uh, learning Elvin a little bit easier for you, Rowan. Oh, thank God. Corin opens it and begins to peruse hey, very, very, very closely. It looks like the children's alphabet book. I... <laughs> oh, that's why I didn't recognize it. It's been years, decades even. I know. I I I'm shocked. Oh, I was reading that when I was three. <laughs> <laughs> you you begin to hear the slight ripping of paper as Corn's hands are tighter he's, and tighter. He's accidentally the book phone booking the thing. <laughs> he is very very close to doing that. <laughs> Oh, oh, be careful. That's an antique. That's Val. an antique. <laughs> yeah, Val's going to place her hands on his to, to prevent him from ripping anymore. I'm pretty sure her strength beats his strength. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be gentle. This thing is probably as old as I am, and that's like 80 some odd years old. And if either of you make a comment, I'm going to rip your manly bits off and shove them down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> care to translate that into Elvish, maybe I'll learn something. <laughs> she does. <laughs> nope, didn't work. 
Would that still apply if I said you were looking remarkable for 80? Thank you. I'm gonna look down. Are they still there? <laughs> <laughs> They've shrunk. Oh. <laughs> but it's not cold outside. because of her. <laughs> it's cold inside. Well, outside. Wherever we I'm are. Gonna, I'm gonna close the window. <laughs> Corn's going to stand up with a book under his arm. I am going to my room where I shall be perusing this in silence. Free from knowledge that it is in fact a children's language book. Get me when we need to kill things. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> I know wow. <laughs> and he's going to march off. I just realized something. When did Corin steal the butt monkey title out from under me? <laughs> 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 Well, we alternate every week, apparently. I think I, I think I stuck it onto myself with the uh, self-imposed arachnophobia. Yes. Yeah, I'm guessing that would be yeah. it. That that was a big part of it. And then the sedation, and then the water, and then the unconsciousness, and then the memory loss. Oh, and I then think the memory loss, and the brain damage, very fun, though. and I mean, the brain I think damage. I think part of it might be that all the people who are pointing swords at me are gone now. <laughs> and the brain damage. And the brain damage. And the brain damage. <laughs> I like to wrestle, but I don't like fighting. But I like to wrestle, but I don't like, I don't fighting. like fighting. Violence is awful. I love I like hurting fighting. people, though. <laughs> Maybe uh, violence is not question. always the answer. It is a question, Heck, and the answer is yes. Is this book actually going to make it possible for Corn to learn Elvish? Yes. Right. Fuck That's yes. one of those languages you can't physically actually learn. I know. Race. I <laughs> forgot all about that. That's <laughs> been the difficulty. <laughs> Where, guess what? I can learn five languages. Those are abyssal draconic six. giant Nolan goblin. <laughs> Ooh, you can teach him abyssal. Yeah, I can teach you abyssal too. Are oh, those specifically fantastic. just your starter languages? <laughs> no, yeah. I begin play speaking common and orc, and half elks, half orcs with high intelligence scores can choose from abyssal draconic giant Nolan goblin. He actually has to take levels in the linguistics for anything else to get. Oh, okay. I can teach you Draconic. Yeah, it's not like... Well, so can I. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, you don't get to escape. <laughs> I've, I've, I've dumped points into linguistics. I was like, hey, I've ah. never had a character that spoke more than two languages. This will be fun. And as a fighter, it's not a class skill. It's not a class skill for me either. Of course it's not. Multi-class. When I hit you, level 8, I'll just put a point into fucking intelligence. Well, you get a, a point for every rank you put in linguistics, you can learn a new language. I can put a rank in that. Can I put a rank in that? If it's not a class skill? Yep. Yep. You just won't get the class skill bonus, and there's a couple things you can't do with it otherwise. I can't remember exactly. Oh, fuck that. I just wanted to help it. Yeah, it, as long as you put a rank in it, you can learn a language that's on your racial <sighs> list. Of course, you Unless realize even a, after this, uh, you won't be able to escape because we'll just start teaching you Draconic. <laughs> that would be cruel. And, Draconic and Abyssal. You'll have Draconic lessons with uh, the Doctor in the morning, and during the nights, you'll have Abyssal lessons with Val. With Mistress Val. Uh, <laughs> Corin's going to take up breaking chairs as a hobby. <laughs> That's okay. Mistress Val could use... Ah, oh, Dwarven it is. I didn't even get to. I didn't even get a chance to insert the comment about Coring having used to be a professional wrestler. 
from back in the day. <laughs> he went by the boulder. <laughs> hey, Rowan, I was just I was just milliseconds away from taking a big old gulp of coke. <laughs> Even a second late on that. <laughs> <laughs> there would have been such problems. I would have had to replace my keyboard again. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, I love you guys. Oh, oh this group is fantastic. <laughs> oh, so, do we get to level up again? No. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe after the slaughter tonight. Oh, the slaughter. It shall oh, be good. so hot. We got spoiled. I'll only I get my grenade launcher after the big fight. I can't oh. wait, though. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll provoke another big fight. I'm good I'm at gonna that. I'm going to get my belt before the big fight, which will just make Greater Cleave even more fun. Even Greater Cleave. You know I'd what the say. shame is? I'm getting my belt, too. You know what's an absolute shame? I haven't had time to buy exotic barding or an exotic saddle or an equestrian belt for my spider. But once that's all taken care of... Oh, that's going to be fun, too. Oh, my God. Do you really need all of that when you can just control it telepathically? That's um, I still need to be able to stay on it while it's running up walls and eating people. Yeah. Isn't that what the wagon um, is for? The, well, the barding will give just it some the... armor. The saddle will actually... Legally, let her ride it in combat. She can't. It'll let me ride it without taking the ridiculous penalty. The only reason I can ride it now is because I'm essentially taking tens constantly, and I don't have a DC because it's not in combat with me. Right. The second we enter combat rounds, I kind of just fall off of it like a small child seated upon, oh, I don't know, a moving airplane. <laughs> <laughs> On the outside. <laughs> Like I had a mental image and realized this what a horrible person I am because I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing You're a welcome. small child sitting on the wing of a Boeing 747 as it takes off. <laughs> well, that's with jet wash. Oh, God. It gets taken off. Oh, right into the engine. Um, so can we go ahead and get our items that, we'll, that we will have by the end of the day that you're making for us? There will be so the belt, and that's it, done. Okay, because I don't want to forget to pay you for that or anything. I don't even remember what I requisitioned. Uh, an amulet. Of of armor thing. I know uh, I yes. dark skin. I, I thought it was the belt of dexterity. <laughs> that nope, comes later, skin. though. Dexterity belt comes later. You get the amulet of itchiness. <laughs> How much do I owe you for that belt, then? Uh, the total thing is to remove 2400 I keep 400 2000 goes into... The, uh, the pockets of right. the archivist. Oh, and I looked it up, and there should be absolutely nothing that keeps me from taking monster feats as a player character. <laughs> yeah, you can take monster feats all day, why? As long as you qualify. As long as I qualify. Okay. You said 2400 Yeah, if you listen, 400 Alright, okay. Consider all yourself right. paid. So that means I'm going to take improved natural armor all fucking day. <laughs> all of my feats are drow racial feats. <laughs> Except I for have. my focus feat that I got from uh, You're just going to solid block of leather by the time this campaign wraps up. <laughs> I'm seriously just going to stack up the feats I need to get stalwart defender. Maybe get a missile shield so I can just backhand arrows out of the air. And then everything from then until 20 just improve natural armor, improve natural armor, improve natural armor, improve natural armor. <laughs> oh god, oh there's going to be like 30 of those. That's going to be fantastic. I'm going to be walking around with 55 AC. <laughs> 35 arrows in your face. You've yet to notice. <laughs> <laughs> they still haven't breached your fucking face calluses. They don't even hit his shield. He just holds up his shield and they stop in midair like the Matrix. I am the one. 
Oh, and 21 God, that's, and 1. It's going to be beautiful. And the 1 and the 1 and 21 and 1. I'm going to be taking things like Vital Strike, Improved Vital Strike, Greater Bright of Vital Strike, all the Vital Strikes for <laughs> I'm going to be taking uh, Master Alchemist, uh, Extra Discovery, Extra Discovery, Extra Discovery, Extra Discovery, and uh, Extra Discovery. Oh, and Extra Bombs. <laughs> I'd like to point out that uh, Vic has no feat plan, except for somewhere around 7th level picking up Undead Leadership. <coughs> oh. You know, nice. for that extra pile of zombies. So, my strength score goes up to 22. So, all of my macros get plus one, and my damage goes up some. Oh, that's. Oh, uh, missile shield's gonna be awesome. There are some things it can't protect you so from, though. Like your best friend spontaneously <laughs> vomiting spiders. Six. <laughs> that's three. That's nine. I think I'd have to get ray shield for that. Summon swarm spiders. I can actually swarm. save him from swarms if I had to. My minimum damage is twelve. <sighs> but then I'd have to get spell breaker, which means I'd have to get disruptive, which means I'd have to be level ten. And that's just a major bummer. And uh, then, of course, there's the. America! Fuck yeah. I just heard somebody say America, so I, I followed up. <laughs> Come and feel to say the motherfucker to you. America! Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah! The map! My nerves is suck on my balls! It looks what? Balls, huh? <laughs> I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Uh, attack. Wait, what the fuck? With missile shield, I can knock bullets out of the air. Yes, you can. That's fucking cool. You are the one. <laughs> so a round is considering everyone having taken their action, not like your specific turn. Just Undead is, uh, a round is the full initiative order. Okay. <laughs> so if everyone were to awesome. decide to suddenly shoot at you for some reason, you could theoretically just have this big porcupine looking thing of a tower shield. Well, the fun thing about a tower shield is that if I want to... I can stick it in the ground in front of me and use it as full cover. Huh? So then all that penetration doesn't really necessarily apply because I'm just standing behind a wall. <laughs> At least I'm assuming that's how that works. Because it sounds the coolest. <laughs> Right, so I need to. Oh. I just need to make sure I, I switch up some of my feats because with a tower shield I have two feats that are entirely fucking pointless. <laughs> Improved shield bash and two weapon fighting. Yeah. Can't use them. Fight damage. Power. Attack. America, fuck yeah! One d uh, twenty plus seven power attack would make it uh, plus ten and a plus five. Should be a five. I want to go up to a ten. Oh, boy, I have not updated my macros lately. I forgot how many important world monuments they blew up in this movie. <laughs> power damage, power damage. 
attack damage. Right, so my damage goes up quite a bit too. So my damage is now 2d6 plus 10 plus 6 on power attack. So attack damage 2d6 plus 10 at 3 of raging. At 3 of raging? It might be even more of raging now. Um, Don't forget how gross it gets with me um, spell casting you. Right. I'm going to have to start I can get you another that six strength flat right now. I'm flat at 22. Raging 26. Bull strength 30. Rage on top of that 32 strength. I can be walking around with 32 strength within two rounds of combat starting. So it doesn't matter if your arms aren't long enough to box with God. You're going to hit the motherfucker eventually. <laughs> you know what's really fun about the boxing with God theory? Throwing weapons scale off strength. <laughs> oh. Did Why do you, you think factor I was in... using chakrams? Did you factor in enlarged person? No. No, I, I haven't even been prepping that. So I could have with enlarged person 34 strength walking around. I thought it'd be 36. Doesn't a large person give you a 4? Doesn't two, it give you 4? I thought it gave you 2. I think so. It would either be 32 or 34 then. No, what, 34 what or 36. What would your carrying capacity be at this point? Lots. Um, if you want to know what a 36 carrying capacity is, 36 carrying capacity, my light load would be 1,220 pounds. Okay, let's throw on wheelback cords. That's more than my fucking push drag. Yeah. Um, and, uh, let's add you, on, just for fun, ant hole and make that thrice as much. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, That's easily comparable to what the spider does. My base... My base right now with this belt put, putting me at 22 strength is 100. My light load is 173 pounds. Wow. Above That's more my than ground. My medium load. I mean, uh, uh, above the ground, I can hold 1,040 and I can push 2,600 pounds. So when I said earlier, I don't need help pushing the wagon, I meant I don't need help pushing the wagon. <laughs> that is fucking bullshit. I was just clinging to the. You were clinging to the side as I pulled you along. <laughs> trying not to get run over. <laughs> Poor yeah. Corrin just has to accept the fact that as the largest one in the party, he is he's, <laughs> he's, he's always going to come up short in the strength category. As long as, as I've got Steve, you are not the largest one in the party. Largest Steve humanoid Thomas. in the party. I'm ah, there we go. The smallest humanoid in the party and the strongest humanoid in the party. <laughs> <sighs> You know, I have such read. fun spells for tonight. You know what's oh, funny? Goodness. I have all of my third level spells. I have Rage, I have Deadly Juggernaut, I have Animate Dead, and I have Bestow Curse. And I'm bringing a Desecrated Area with me and a Giant Undead Spider with me. I find it a bit amusing that the... that the sheltered science nerd is actually marginally stronger than the experienced military man. It happens occasionally. Oh dear God, Val! Yeah. Take a level in Alchemist just for the steroids. Oh, let me guess. Extra oh God! Strength. Take two levels in it to get a pr to get the extra arm. Show me a great sword <laughs> and a wakizashi. <laughs> and BD. everyone's gonna get impaled today. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Take extra discovery so you can get both extra arms. <laughs> oh my Just god. Dual wield great swords. <laughs> yes! <laughs> whack, whack, whack. Two weapon fighting with a fucking great sword. Who invited fucking Goro to the party? Goro, Goro, Goro. This is bullshit. The negatives on that would be retarded, but if I had a 40 strength, it wouldn't matter because I could pull it off anyways. And could you yeah. imagine how much you could Screw drink with Goro. Arms? This is freaking Shiva. <laughs> she is a demon. And there's the tail. There's and the potentially tail. the oh. tentacle. And on top of all that, she can bite your face off. <laughs> because bite natural attack. <laughs> Man, so, tieflings in 4th edition weren't nearly that cool. 
So four arms, a tail, a tentacle, and wings. And teeth. I do need to figure out a way to get wings. That would be awesome. Alchemist. Da, 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 I have a spell for that. Da, 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 no, fuck him. Kefko is better. Dancing Mad wins that battle. Too. <laughs> I never beat Final Fantasy VI. Never played much of it, actually. Do not fuck with the Kefka. <laughs> he will win. I've heard he's a badass. He Honestly, I didn't play much Final Fantasy VI because the transition to the battle screen on the overworld made me physically ill. <laughs> <laughs> Dead fucking serious. Hmm. So are we playing a game brutal. still, or are we done for the night? We're done. I think we've been done for like... Yeah, a, we've yeah. been... I feel like I've been fucking around for the past half hour. I've been having a conversation...